cowboy and spaceman heroes come and go, but footballers retain their popularity over the years. Teams like the Arsenal are now part of British tradition and history, while players like the Gunners' captain Cliff Holton and internationals Bowen and Tapscott are household names. Even so, the most important thing on the field is the ball. So let's look behind the scenes at this South London factory where footballs have been made since 1891. Although the finished article takes such a beating, the ball is nevertheless a delicate piece of craftsmanship. The manufacturer has changed little, the emphasis being always on quality. About three square feet of carefully chosen hide goes into the 12 or 18 panels that make up the ball, and more panels, the less risk of stretching, although the panels themselves are stretched before being stitched together. This is the way it's done by 70-year-old Joe Kidd, a retired policeman. He sent quite a few people up for a different kind of stretch in his time. Next stage is to put the panels together, and here there is no substitute for hand sewing. Turned inside out, the panels require roughly 500 stitches, one 12-panel ball taking as long as an hour and a half. Because of the enormous length of seam required, it's unlikely that footballs of more than 18 panels will ever be made. But then there's no demand for them anyway, apart from short-sighted referees. Finally, the bladder is inserted, inflated to a pressure of 12 pounds per square inch, and the ball is finished, apart from the usual tests. By the time one of these footballs reaches Wembley for a cup final, you can be sure it's in tip-top condition. So if your team loses, by all means blame the referee, but don't blame the ball.